This is a slideshow about making trunk compartments for a full-size 1962 Oldsmobile. There's nothing untidier than the trunk area of most cars. Yet, there's so much stuff we want to carry around with us. Trunk compartments are a great way to organize. It all starts with making a plan and then visiting your friendly neighborhood lumber store. Just look at all that trunk well space in this 1962 Oldsmobile Starfire. How quickly it gets cluttered though. Did you know there's an equal amount of space above the deep trunk well? Why not compartmentalize the bottom half? You'll carry more stuff than you do now and keep the top half clean and uncluttered. Here's the result of what I'm talking about. Individual storage compartments in the trunk well of your classic car. The carpeted covering board creates a nice, flat, clean, uncluttered look. And the beauty about this plan is the compartments are made in a single unit for easy removal. The car can be returned to its original appearance in only seconds as the entire unit can simply lift out. These compartments were made for a 1962 Oldsmobile Starfire but the plan works equally well for any larger car with a deep trunk well. First, the required supplies. A 4x8 sheet of half-inch plywood, a couple of 8-foot lengths of 5 8 inch composite shelf boarding. You'll also need half-inch screw nails and 3 quarter inch screw nails, a tub of carpet cement, a good table saw for cutting, as well as a jigsaw. You'll also need to pick up carpeting that matches the interior carpeting of your trunk and heavy grade vinyl for the interior of each compartment. It's fortunate that many of these classic cars have such deep trunk wells. In the photos ahead, you'll see how to make efficient use out of all that open trunk space. It's my hope that you'll give this fun project some consideration if you're planning to customize the trunk of your deep trunk well classic car. Some modification may be necessary depending on spare tire placement. Use your imagination. This photo is showing the half inch plywood base of the compartment and the five inch shelf board cut to the correct size. Be sure to leave a little room at the top of the shelf board so that the half-inch covering lid can close properly. As a caution, you may find that nothing is plumb or square about an old car's trunk well. Some careful cutting and shimming may be required. This photo shows the half-inch plywood board that has been cut to size and used as the base. The photo also shows how the shelf boarding has been cut so that it interlocks to form nine good-sized compartments. The next step is to use a pre-cut template to make edging around the perimeter of the compartment divisions. The edging will give the unit added strength and also enhance its appearance. It also creates nice square corners for the compartment doors. Disregard the little triangles you see in the corners as they were not used. The perimeter boards are now countersunk to the height level of the compartment dividers and screwed into place with inch and a half nails. Now you're ready to make your top covering board out of half inch plywood. Use templates and test it for fit. The next step is to glue durable vinyl to the bottom floorboard and the compartment interior walls. Again, check and recheck the covering lid for size. It will be mounted with piano hinges to the back perimeter board. Be sure to leave a little space between the trunk well wall and the back perimeter board for mounting. To mount the large covering lid, I've used piano hinges. Piano hinges were also used on the individual compartment doors. 
This photo shows the large covering lid set in its place upside down as a test, with the carpeting a shade lighter in color. The actual upside color of the carpeting will match the trunk carpeting exactly. Now the covering board has been attached to the back perimeter board with a piano hinge and it's in place right side up. You're now ready to measure carefully and cut out the individual compartment doors. Again, I used 5 8 inch shelf board. The doors were then carpeted both sides with carpet adhesive and are ready to put in place. Carpet has now been added to the perimeter boards and the top of the compartment dividers. The doors have been attached with piano hinges and you'll notice that adjustment of each door is still required for a correct fit. At the back of the photo, note the overlap of carpet on the top covering lid. This is to cover over the gap between the covering lid and the trunk well for a smooth appearance. A small handhold was made in the covering lid so it can be easily raised. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. For simple lift handles, I used round key rings and cotter pins. The key rings slide to the eye of the cotter pin and holes are drilled through the door to push the cotter pin through. Decorative washers are used at the top of the cotter pin just below the eye and a flat washer is also used on the underside of the door. The cotter pin is then plied apart to hold it secure. This was a good idea as the key rings are extremely functional as a door lift and they lie very flat against the door surface so the covering lid can also lie flat. Here's a look at the finished compartment doors in the trunk well. Nine spacious compartments have been created. Each compartment has been designated to hold something different. For example, one compartment may hold CDs, another may hold tools, another may hold emergency equipment or a first aid kit, etc., etc. This project created a place for everything and everything in its place. All is stored neatly in the trunk well compartments below, while the top of the trunk bed is flat and smooth and gives no indication of what's hidden in the compartments below. When the project is completed, the visible trunk floor will be flat and the overlapping carpeting will hide the seams of the trunk well and the covering lid. The result is a clean, uncluttered, spacious expanse of usable trunk space. In case you were wondering, there's still more than enough room to tote anything extra you may wish to carry. Things like suitcases, picnic basket, or whatever. Here's a view from the other side of the car. The upside carpeting matches perfectly and only you know what's stored neatly below in the trunk well compartments. Most will not even realize storage compartments exist just below the surface. I hope this slideshow inspires some ideas for the deep trunk well in your classic car. Thank you for viewing.